Pour Maxime, moi, salue nous dans le nom de Jésus-Christ de Nazareth. Nous, c'est l'Église baptiste de Jésus-Christ international. Ou même qui t'a remis à abonner sur le channel de l'Église baptiste de Jésus-Christ international. Là où il y a un doigt, il y a un pouce qui devient en l'air, clique sur lui. Et ça, vous montre que vous remet une vidéo, vous remet un message, vous remet une adoration. Et après ça, subscribe. Qui donc, ou baiser tes coches là. Et là, vous retirez, vous pouvez retirer le personnel. Et après ça, vous baiser sur all. Sur le paquet all là, qui vous dit, vous baiser sur toutes les salles. N'importe quelle vidéo que nous voyons sur le chat de l'église là, ben, vous avez une possibilité ou elle même côté que le paraît là. Merci d'avance parce qu'on choisit de garder la vidéo de l'église là. Et c'est l'église là. Que le Seigneur bénisse.
And let's open our Bible to Psalm 99. Psalm 99. The Lord reigns. Let the people tremble. He is enthroned between the cherubim. Let the earth quake. The Lord is great in Zion. He is exalted above all the peoples. Let them praise your great and awe-inspiring name. He is holy. The mighty king loves justice. He has established fairness. You have administered justice and righteousness in Jacob. Exalt the Lord our God. Bow and worship at his footstool. He is holy. Moses and Aaron were among his priests. Samuel also was among those calling on his name. They called to the Lord and he answered them. He spoke to them in a pillar of cloud. They kept his decrees and the statutes he gave them. Lord our God, you answered them. You were a forgiving God to them, but a avenge of their sinful actions. Exalt the Lord our God. Bow and worship at his holy mountain. For the Lord our God is holy. Amen. i 
24, David dit aujourd'hui c'est la journée que l'Éternel a faite, qu'elle soit pour nous un sujet d'allégresse et de joie. Et une journée de béni, une journée de grâce, et une journée d'exaltation, une journée de louange, une journée de glorification. Nous assemblés de Jésus-Christ, avec enthousiasme devant mon Dieu, avec la crétive, pour nous glorifier son nom, pour nous lever mes en l'air, pour nous crier victoire sous Corona, pour nous crier Bénézer et Bénézer. Jusqu'ici, l'éternel nous a secoué. C'est la grâce de Dieu, la faveur imméritée de Dieu. Nous disons bon Dieu merci pour groupe ça, pour team ça qui. En union, béni et les gens qui parlent ou perdu, les gens qui couchent l'hôpital, que les gens soient bénis, les gens qui sont en prison, que les gens soient bénis. Ça veut dire se poser des questions à l'éternel, est-ce qu'il oublie nous, est-ce qu'il abandonne nous dans le champ L'éternel répond à la question posée, au grand jamais, nous ne pouvons jamais quitter nous, nous ne pouvons jamais abandonner nous, nous ne pouvons jamais marcher sans nous va pas avec nous tous les jours jusqu'à la consommation des siècles. Nous bénissons le Seigneur pour sauver de vie, nous bénissons pour la vie, pour manger quel bon nous le pain nécessaire, pour l'eau, pour l'argent, côté nous dormir, pour travailler, pour famille en Haïti, pour que nous le prenons soin, pour parents nous, pour famille nous, et nous crier béni soit l'éternel. Assemblée à des bons seigneurs. En pile nourriture, mais pas de monde. Service à ta besoin, un million de personnages pour assister, pour bénir, pour louer, pour glorifier et pour exalter. Pour tu nous pas besoin de Père Seigneur, d'appeler les chrétiens au devant, en pile fatigué, en pile dans le travail, en pile couché, qui est découragé, qui n'est pas réussi tout Seigneur, qui n'est pas actif, qui parle de chouter pour la parle de courir sous terrain, qui parle de l'eau, de l'eau, pas de service. Et nous tous là pour un gol, ça gol là pour nous couronner au dernier jour. Nous bénissons le Seigneur. Nous le fait payer nous devons, qui est crise, Seigneur. Paye nous dans la paix. Vous dites nous soyez tranquilles. T'es que plus que ça, que les sans oiseaux, que les iso, grand ravine, et te fait plus que ça. La vie bonne à te fait plus que ça. Qu'on n'y a eu pas là encore. Son seul roi qui sur la terre, c'est Jésus-Christ des armées. Vous dites, vous avez de l'eau, l'âme dans les yeux, nous, dans les yeux haïtiens, nous se peuple, c'est nous croire qui adorons, c'est nous qui servir, c'est nous qui avons forcé, malgré nous. Mais nous puis devant, vous choisissez nous. Oh Dieu, trois fois saint, bénis l'assemblée, bénis les musiciens, les dames, les diabonaises, les diables de l'église, les membres, les adultes, les enfants, tout le monde qui participe, les dirigeants, groupe de prière, nous tous ensemble, nous faisons une dans Jésus-Christ et nous avancé sous le grand diable là, pour nous dire Satan dit, anathème, et pour nous dire puissance, pour nous dire tomber. Sortez sous petit nous, sortez sous famille nous, pas attaquer madame nous, pas attaquer mari nous. Au nom de Jésus, Seigneur, nous levez le monde devant. Le monde est converti. Nous voyons baisser et détruire les habitants de la terre. Mais dans le somme 24, où dit à l'éternel, la terre, tout ce qu'elle renferme, et le monde, tout ce qu'il habite. Nous voyons détruire nous, nous pour Christ, et Christ pour nous. Seigneur, fait message sa joie, entre dans quel méchant, nous voyons détruire les habitants de la terre. La terre. Nous pressions les bons, c'est nous chanter pour vous, c'est nous clouer pour vous, c'est nous danser pour vous. Malgré Seigneur, nous malheureux, n'est-ce pas physiquement, mais en esprit, nous sommes des millionnaires parce que la vérité est le ciel. Après la mort physique, nous avons ensemble avec vous dans la gloire. Nous bénissons pour ça, c'est fait. Marchez avec nous, touchez des hommes, voyez monde dans les cités de ça, Seigneur. Bénissons nous tout économiquement, Seigneur, parce que nous besoin l'argent, nous besoin la santé à compter pour ces visio. Nous capables d'aider ceux qui ont besoin. Nous capables de visiter l'autre en Haïti. Je vais trois fois ce ministère. Il est très coûté. Mais nous ne pouvons pas faire la force à nous. Bénis-nous, Seigneur. Merci encore pour l'adoration.
ça. Merci Seigneur pour le sentiment d'amour que vous avez nous. Merci parce que vous mettez nous ensemble. Vous mettez nous pour nous servir. Nous vivons sur la terre, nous en transit, Seigneur. Aujourd'hui, il est là, deux mains nous parlons encore. Mais nous avons apporté dans la gloire. Nous avons demandé nous qui ça nous fait. Est-ce que nous avons participé Est-ce que nous avons dansé Nous avons adoré Nous avons loué Nous avons propagé nous. Nous avons répondu oui, Seigneur. Et nous avons aimé d'amour, des couronnes, des diadèmes dans tes dieux. It is not only when it comes to the death of Jesus Christ that people utilize the word passion. They utilize the word passion for many occasions. Apostle Paul said to Timothy, cultivate the passion of your youth. What does that mean here? It means that there are certain desires young people have that they should run away from. And so when it comes to Timothy, he had a passion to chase after those who were his age. You may, be, you may have heard people say don't have passion or don't have the love of money. Or maybe you've heard people say don't have passion or desires for the things of this world. The same way you see that passion, you know, defined based on um, what we have discussed means pain or suffrage. In today's message, we want to show you the passion that someone had towards his brother. For example, when it comes to the narrative of Dina and his brother, the brother of Dina loved his sister. He loved his sister so much that he was crazy to take her as his wife. He was crazy to want to take his sister as his wife. And so it is clear that there are some people who have passion. Some people attend church on Sunday. Amen. But 
Unfortunately, once the church service ends, they want to go ahead and purchase beer. And so some people will do this by habit. For example, they may get a cigar. And so even though the person attended church, they still have that addiction towards cigarettes. So and so when they smoke that cigarette, they feel like it takes you know, the cares of life away from them. And so some people, they have lack of sleep, and so they believe that they drink the beer or the wine, that will cause them to sleep. And some people, they have a passion to commit adultery. And even though this man's wife is in the bed with him, but he has a desire for young women. And so you see here, passion has a lot of dynamics to it. Perhaps it is a desire for love. Or perhaps it is the things of the world. Or maybe you like something, but when it comes to scripture, it is against God's word. And we too see here the passion of Jesus Christ. But this passion is Jesus himself taking your sin to suffer on your behalf. The sufferings of Jesus Christ. It was evident. And so, and so Jesus had the desire to go on the cross to die for humanity. And so the passion when it comes to what Jesus did, it signifies sufferings. Et Christ doit endurer la nuit noire dans la nuit de And so Jesus had to endure this dark moment in his journey in this life. On it, the Arlington. We have learned from scripture that they arrested Jesus. Dieu va permettre de dormir. They didn't allow him to fall asleep. Parce qu'il faut que changer lui, que on juge à on le juge dans le même temps. Because during that same time, they had to exchange Jesus for another Jewish person. And this all happened just after he was taking communion with his brother. And suddenly, they, they came to Jesus and arrested him. When they arrested Jesus, they began to beat him up. And those who arrested him, they were determined to take him to a pilot and after pilot to others who were, who were in charge of the Roman Empire during the day. So what is the reason for the passion of Jesus Christ? Was he suffering for his own self? is due to the sin of humanity. Paul said to the Roman church that Jesus himself is the second Adam. And so to the Roman church, Paul was explaining to them because Adam sinned in the book of Genesis, Although we weren't born yet, his own sin caused every human person to have sin. And this sin is what has led to death. Because based on what your forefather did, Adam, everybody is now. And so the very main reason for the passion of Jesus Christ was because of the original Le sin that happened. That the sin of Adam. We want to go ahead and discuss what is sin to you. Sin is anything that goes against the word of God or the will of God. Certain things that you saw that were good. 
you put it aside. La vie l'homme devait éternel sur la terre. You see, when, at, when God created Adam and Eve, he created them to have eternal life on the earth. Mais le péché est en train de couper la vie. But due to sin, the consequence of sin became death, so they didn't have eternal life anymore. Premier mal est arrivé, le péché est entré. The first consequence of sin was that there was a separation between human beings and human beings. la mort spirituelle. And so they suffered a spiritual death. Péché par la mort spirituelle, l'homme vit ennemi mon Dieu. And so sin causes spiritual death and that causes human beings to become enemies of God. Deuxièmement, la mort physique. And secondly, sin causes physical death. Et je dis où c'est poussière. And God says we are dust. On va retourner la poussière. And we will return back to dust. Troisièmement, la mort éternelle ou c'est mort. And thirdly, what sin has caused is that if you don't have God, then you will have a second death, which is going. You know, Ça nous faire le tourment éternel. And so the, the Bible describes this death, you being thrown into hell. Séparation de Dieu pour Dieu. And this now is complete separation for all eternity from Mais God. Mais la passion de Jésus Christ But est However, the passion of Christ is necessary then. May the peace of God be with you. À cause de péché, pas de l'autre problème de la mort. You see, due to sin, there's no remedy to take it away. The Bible lets us know that all has fallen short of the grace of God due to sin. And therefore, there has to be someone without sin to die in our place. Now, Romans 3, the verse. If you would open your Bible to Romans 3, ah, 23. Verses 9 to 23. Now, solely the verses 22 and 23. We'll be reading only verses 22 to 23. 22 and 23. Justice de Dieu par la foi en Jésus Christ pour ceux qui croient. Il n'y a pas de distinction car tous ont péché. Et sont privés de la gloire de Dieu. Romans 3, verse 22 to 23 says, This righteousness is given through faith in Jesus Christ to all who believe. There is no difference between Jew and Gentile, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory or grace of God, and all are justified freely by His grace through the redemption that came by Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Nous disons la passion de Jésus-Christ est nécessaire parce que nous sommes pécheurs, nous sommes puissants devant le péché. We say that the passion of Jesus Christ is necessary because, like we just read, all have fallen short of the grace of God. We are all sinners. Seuls les gens pour mon Dieu satisfaire les besoins au monde sans péché la place qui fait rien. And so, what only could satisfy God the Father to really give us justification is to give himself someone without sin to die in our place. And again, the, the text here, it says that all are sinners, all are not. And so we have inherited this original sin from Adam. So technically, even if you think you are not a sinner or you have sinned, because you come from Adam, you are still classified as a sinner. And so it is impossible for you on your own to be holy and without sin. But however, God wants to satisfy you. And he wants to go ahead and give his mercy. Mais pas des personnes But there's no one without religion. sin right here. Dieu détermine lui-même. And so God Himself, He came with this plan. Hallelujah. Dieu détermine lui-même pour satisfaire tes besoins. And so God Himself, He came with this plan to satisfy Himself. Si Dieu vient comme Dieu, c'est qui est c'est éternel, éternité, qui pas qu'à mourir. You see, if God came with all his glory on the earth, it would be impossible for him to die because he is God. And so God began to have a dialogue with himself and he said, what must I, what must I do to be satisfied? Well, then God went ahead and made the word incarnate, which is Jesus Christ. Souffrir lui-même, 
C'est l'incarnation. De l'esprit vit dans le corps humain. Dieu déjà la guerre de la souffrance. And so, one thing that the Bible shows us is that God already decided that He wanted to suffer. Qui donc l'incarnation de Jésus-Christ? Again, the incarnate of Jesus Christ of the Word of God. Dieu est logique. They say it in theology. Dieu homme. They say God as human. Dieu homme. God as human. Let's the word Dieu homme. When they say this, God as human. Yo pati homme Dieu. They don't, they, don't say, oh. they don't say human God, but they say God as human. Pourquoi oh, Why they don't say it in reverse? Parce que Because you see the Antichrist. He is coming as well. Comme oh, Dieu. He's gonna come as a human that has to be Dieu, oh. He won't. Mais la pito, oh, Dieu. He's going to be a human God. Qui donc, dit, Christ, pas, And so the Antichrist cannot be. La seulement qu'à personnifier. He could only be personified. C'est ça qui est la différence entre l'incarnation de Dieu et la personnification de la Bible. This is one of the main distinctions between the Antichrist and Jesus Christ being the Word of God incarnate. Comment Jésus-Christ est capable de faire incarner? So how is this possible? How can the Word of God, which is the Son Jesus Christ, be incarnate? C'est la naissance virginale. And so God chose, as we know in the, in the word of God, Mary to be born through. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. La naissance de Jésus, c'est Dieu qui s'est incarné. The birth of Jesus Christ is God himself in human form. Mais la Bible t'a visité toute l'île pour te annoncer la naissance. And if you read the Bible, Perhaps all the, 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 the books in the Bible has already prophesied this verse. Now, Isaiah, if, you look, if you look in Isaiah chapter 7 verse 14, this is one of the most clearest verses that talks about the birth of Jesus Christ. It says that Mary the Virgin became pregnant. And that she became pregnant with the Son of God, and that she would call him Emmanuel. And the, and the name Emmanuel means God is with us. And so the prophet Isaiah prophesied that Jesus Christ would be born of a virgin named Mary. And Mary was a young woman. One of the things that happened when an angel visited visited Mary. The angel said, Mary, you will become pregnant. And so honestly, Mary asked a smart question because she knew she was a virgin. So she said to the angel, how can I have a child and, you know, and the angel said that the Holy Spirit will come upon you. And so God the Holy Spirit would be the one to place the child, which is Jesus, inside Mary. Dans Luc, and you'll see that in Luke, the first chapter. Mais dans Matthieu, chapitre, But in Matthew, the first chapter, verse 16, verse 16 Dieu a à Joseph. God, is said, God is said in that, in that particular um, chapter, announced Matthew, it to Joseph. Premier, verse 16. Il est important pour lui, verset 16, donc il est important de ce qu'elle a dans la Jacob enverra Joseph le pour de Marie, de laquelle est né Jésus, qui est appelé Christ. Il n'a pas dit de Joseph, il dit de laquelle. Ça dit, c'est Marie seulement que se gagnait. Il parle pas. Non, non, non. And so here in the scripture, it doesn't really put much um, emphasis on Joseph, but instead it put more emphasis on Mary, the mother of Jesus. Premier élément de la passion de Jésus-Christ. The first element of the passion of Jesus Christ. C'est faire le Dieu éternel de vous un petit enfant. It's to make God, the Alleluia. eternal God, become an infant. It's Alleluia. a baby. 
gloire à Jésus. Oui. Il a laissé ce là souffrir. Bon Dieu qui crée les lieux. Et donc, so imagine the, the God created the entire universe. Tout ce qu'il a dit. With everything in it. Il prend le temps pour l'entrer dans la moitié femme. He took his time to enter a, a woman's womb. Et finesse, quel est mon dernier mois là? And he stayed there himself for nine months. Après neuf mois, il naît sur la terre. And after nine months, he was born on the earth. Déjà, il commençait à se prendre moi. Already, just him being born through a woman was a type of something. Because his glory is is limitless, and so it was difficult to even become a baby in that fashion. And even while he, he was about to be born, Jesus, he was already going through sufferings because they didn't want to receive Mary. And so the only place that Mary and Joseph found to give Birth to Jesus. It was amongst animals that Jesus, the Son of God, was being born. And so Jesus himself, being God, his, his life began with suffering. His passion became even when he came in order to save humanity. And you see, without the birth of Jesus Christ, it would be impossible. It would be impossible for you and I to have reconciliation with God. It would be impossible because you wouldn't be able to get rid of sin. In Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. Et la et fils. Je donnerai le nom de Jésus. Celui qui sauvera son peuple de ses péchés. raisons. In English it says, she will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. And so, in, and so in order for him to save us from our sins, he has to die in our place. And he has to suffer, not only that, but suffer And so even at his birth, they announced his suffering. But even before he was born, the prophet Isaiah declared that he was going to suffer. In Isaiah 55, they said that they would humiliate him. They would beat him up. They would spit in his face. And they would make him carry a cross and then nail him on the cross on the outcome. And so in order for your sins to have been completely forgiven, God himself had to come on earth to save you. So la naissance de la Vierge. Without Mary. It was impossible for God to die in the place of humanity. In a way, it was also be impossible for Jesus to die for humanity. The rest of the nature of God is not the sin. Mais il recevra la nature humaine pour être capable de mourir la place de Dieu. Again, here is God without sin, and He decided to come in human flesh in order to die in your place. Il choisit voir naissance là. He chose His birth. C'est Dieu homme qui guérit toute l'histoire de l'humanité. Alléluia. Only God the Son that you see in all of the history of the world. So that means there will never be another Christ like Jesus Christ. There will never be another Jesus Christ. There was only one God. And Paul said to Timothy, He is now in heaven. He is interceding for us in heaven. Jesus Christ. Alleluia. Jesus Christ, the man without sin. And he became the savior of the whole world. And he died for us on the cross. But think about it. Can, die, can God really die? Because he cannot die. He allowed himself to suffer. No matter how many sacrifices you could have offered God, that would not be enough to give you redemption. And so the passion of Jesus Christ was truly necessary. It is a truth that is clear. In Romans chapter 1, verses 1 to 4. 
Mon mère, ça peut produire le 5 à 4. En anglais, il dit Paul, un servant de Christ Jésus, appelé à être un apostle et set apart pour le gospel de Dieu, le gospel qu'il a promis avant, through his prophets and the Holy Scriptures, regarding his son, who, as to his earthly life, was a descendant of David, and who, through the spirit of holiness, was appointed the son of God in power by his resurrection from the dead, Jesus Christ our Lord. Verses 3 et 4, parlez seulement. Elle concerne son fils, né de la poste de David, selon la chair, déclare fils de Dieu avec puissance, dans l'esprit de sainteté. Par sa résurrection de vrai mort, Christ, notre Seigneur. Nous allons avec toi. Vous voyez, selon la chair, le fils de David, il est le fils de Dieu par le Seigneur. Les Maurice se croira de créer très fort. Jésus est véritablement le fils de Dieu. When they look at his humanity, they see that he is also a son of David, but when he died on the cross, they said, Jesus, the son of God. When the curtain of the temple broke, and there was darkness covering the world, and everybody yelling, everybody is saying, truly, Jesus was the son of God. The peace of God be with you. Again, the passion of Jesus Christ was necessary. Ça que fait sur la terre. And that is why he came on the earth to. Non, sans lui, David. Again, in his birth, they see him as a son Mais of God. Lui, bon Dieu. But by his power and the spirit, he is a son of God. Fini, il et qui met ensemble. Alléluia. Ce homme qui a pouvoir. So, God in the flesh has all power and authority. La mort de Jésus, the death of Jesus is satisfied the man. Satisfy the God the Father. Bon, Christ and again, we want you to understand this is why God chose Dieu to suffer. Because he was not, you know, satisfied. Yo, but because of Jesus. Ultimate sacrifice, God forgot about your sin. Everything that you were doing that was wrong, God completely erased it from his record. Every time when he thought to judge you, Jesus Christ comes before the Father and he shows the Father his marks and he shows the Father his life. All the marks of the nails, all the marks in his hand. And also the marks of the of the. Um, he said to the father, I came to die for them. It's because of them that I went. It's because of them that I that I stumbled with the cross. It is for them that I was. It is for them that I resurrected on Sunday morning. Tonight, do you believe that Jesus suffered for you? Because for the devil. May this be the last day you suffer on your own, on your own self. Give your cares, give your sufferings to Jesus. He came because he knew that you would not be able to comfort yourself. Many people were awaiting a Savior, but they could never see the Savior. But you, you have seen the Savior. This morning, Jesus wants your heart to be open. Jesus wants to come again. He wants to be born again. And this way, he wants to be born into your heart. Many people are getting ready for Christmas. Many houses filled with lights. Many people shopping left and right. But their heart is not for Jesus. And their heart is not for Jesus. But this day, and this year, may God ask yourself and tell yourself I want you to remember this. Your sins today are forgiven, and it's because of the death of Jesus Christ, which satisfied the Father. God wants to reconcile with you today. He wants to reconcile, reconcile with you, my sister. He wants to reconcile with you. This day, he says, you know what? Forget about your sins. 
He already knows you. He sees everything. Et ça peut venir. And that is why he came. Il connaît faire fort. He knows sometimes you do try. Il a même encore aujourd'hui à vous faire plus les fonds pas capable. You see some some of you you did many tries. Mais la vie amène à cela. But again sometimes life comes to you strong. But Jesus, he wants you to know his blessings have value. He wants you to know he has value for anyone who comes. To you. you see, the cross is fixed for you. Even Don't let this opportunity pass you by not to receive him as your heart. Receive him as Savior today, and he will be born in your heart, and he will give you eternal life. May the peace of God be with you.